Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. While playing around with some of the new seasonal artifact mods and elemental wads, I have come up with a build that will help you stay alive and also inflict maximum damage to bosses as well as clear ads in any end game PVE content. This build will have many interchangeable parts so you can vary up the mods and weapons and still achieve similar results. The bones of this build are based on my previous max survival build for this season, so feel free to check that one out as well. I would love to hear any other suggestions on how to tweak this build, so feel free to drop into my Discord and we can discuss your ideas. To begin, again, I'm going to bring the best parts of my previous build into this one. To maximize survivability in any endgame PvE content, I'm going to use the Reaping Wellmaker Void Elemental mod to help me generate wells. This mod can be poked up from the helm this season fairly easily. When you use your class ability, your next weapon blow drops a void well. Well, I'm running Bottom Tree Night Stalker, so when I'm near enemies, I can get my Smoke Bomb back, which is my melee on this class. I also run Elemental Charge, which allows me to get two stacks of Charge of Light whenever I pick up a well that matches my ability burn. In addition, I run Well of Tenacity, so when I pick up those wells, I also get a great deal of damage resistance for 10 seconds. This allows me to not have to run Protective Light, so I have mod slots open for other things I want to run on this build. So those are the basics of how the Elemental Well mods work well together for this build. I also then use my favorite Aminoculus, which allows me to have two Smoke Bomb Chargers, and those Smoke Bomb Chargers grant myself and my fire team increased damage resistance when invisible. So I can pick up Wells to protect myself, and then with that protection is over, I can smoke my team to make us invisible and resistant. That Smoke Bomb that I laid down also allows me to regenerate and get my smoke bomb even quicker. And then finally, I can dodge near enemies to proc well generation on my next weapon kill, and again, gain a chance to get my smoke bomb back. Again, there is just incredible synergy and team protection in this specific part of the build. Now again, since I have some of my mod slots freed up, because again, I don't have to run protective light or some of the other charge of light mods, I can then utilize some of the slots to focus on ad clearing and ability and boss DPS. So again, I already have the protection area. Now, how do I basically contribute to the fire team and get those end game activities completed? For ad clearing ability, I utilize energy acceler on my class item to allow me to add additional damage to explosions that happen from dragonfly, chain reaction, and firefly. This mod is something you can get from the seasonal artifact this season. Now this applies obviously to many weapons, but also to exotics like Polaris, Lance, and Sunshot, that also have great utility in clearing ads and also dealing with champions. If I take Polaris Lance and use it against our good friend Carl, you can see that without the mod, the explosion damage for Perfect Fifth does about 3,822. If I add the mod in, it's 7,643, which is a 100% increase. If I add a debuff, like say my tether, it comes out at 9,936, which is a 150% increase over the original damage. So this obviously helps with boss DPS, but it also helps with explosions that can help clear out ads in the content you're playing. This effect again applies to any weapon that you have with Chain Reaction, Firefly, or Dragonfly, which opens a ton of options. I'll talk about weapons in a bit. Another seasonal mod I like to add to this is Unstoppable Swordchild Condenser. Wow, that's a real mouthful. This mod allows your Void Melee ability to stagger Unstoppable Champions. Since your melee in this case is your Smoke Bomb, that means your Smoke Bomb you're constantly generating can by itself stop an Unstoppable. This will allow you to easily have all three champion mods available without compromising on your specific weapons you bring into PVA content. That'll be a real balancer if you're trying to do some of this activity with LFG groups or to folks that you don't know what type of weapons they're going to bring to the fight. So again, it allows you to kind of rely on yourself. This is also why to not use Breach and Clear in this uh, particular build, because it takes nine energy spots in your class item. But if one person that you have on your fire team has that, then you're covered. It's not like everyone has to have that to get the debuff. Finally, for this build, I left space to have two Argent Ordnance mods to help me maximize DPS. This also helps with ad clear. Since I have Energy Accelerant, if I have a Chain Reaction Rocket Launcher on, I get elemental explosions as well as increased boost with energy accelerant. Now let's talk about damage numbers for boss DPS. If I use my base rocket launcher, it does 55,640 damage to the boss and 15,879 in splash damage. If I add one copy of Argent Ordnance, I get a 20% increase of damage across both DPS and splash damage. If I add another of those mods in, I get an additional uh, increase of 5% to 25%. And obviously you can continue to add these because they stack, but again, 
if you add those just to your build, then you're not getting the ability to do some of the other things in my build as soon. So that is where I limit it. Again, I want to maximize survivability with the ability to support my fire team and do DPS. If I then add tether, then I get a 30% damage increase due to its debuff. Now you can do this with other debuffs, but since this build highlights Night Stalker, you get that by default. With that, you get an overall 62.5% increase in damage over the original damage to Splash and DPS. And again, with Splash damage, since you have Energy Acceler on, you gain a much greater ability to kill adds around the boss as part of the normal explosion, which adds to the add clearing potential with this build. Try to say that five times fast. For weapons, my plan is to stick with Polaris Lance, Fate Bringer, and Sub Zero Salvo. With Polaris Lance, I can take out Barrier Champions, and every fifth crit I get an Elemental Explosion that again can increase damage and take out ads near the champions. I found in previous seasons that Polaris Lance can really take down those champions very quickly, and you can continue to keep fire on them. And again, the splash damage helps out to clear things around it, right? With Fate Bringer, I have Firefly which allows me to take an overload champions and also take out adds in groups with its synergy with energy accelerant. Finally, I use Sub-Zero Salvo that has Dragonfly on it. Again, I get the bonus of energy accelerant as well as the DPS potential of Argent Ordnance. And of course, of Unstoppable Sword Strike Condenser, I can stop Unstoppable Champions with just my Smoke Bomb without adding another weapon to the mix. Again, weapons can be different, but that's what I'm going with. Sunshot would be another great option to maximize DPS and champion support. And for barrier, you can go with auto rifle since the summoner can also rove dragonfly. But again, those are suggestions. There's plenty of great options that you can round out this build. And again, I would love to hear what sort of things you would like to tweak this build. How would you take it in what direction? Feel free to drop by my discord and let's talk about that. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.